Hello and welcome to Silverleaf Tarot. Today we are asking what is just around the corner? And this is a divine message from the Fae. They came to me in an ecstatic dance and they wanted to be set free to play <laughs> on the 3D. And the dance was lit, of course. And then I got guided to do this reading. And just really interestingly, at the bottom of the deck, after these cards came up, was Journey. So this is a very clear, aligned message that the Fae have something very important to tell you about your path ahead. So we have three piles ready for you to choose from. Pile one, I think this might be the Ace of Air, and B. Pile two. The Seneschal. With Rainbow Feather. And Pile three. King of Fire. with Dragonfly. So, pause the video if you need to, to take as much time as you need to choose your pile or your piles between pile one, pile two, and pile three. And then you head down to the description box where you will find timestamps that will take you directly to your reading. Hello, pile number one. So you have chosen this gorgeous Ace of Air. We can see the demeanor of this air dragon like it's offering you something. Goodness, what is this symbol in the middle? It is offering you something very sacred. We have symbols all around the side. There's the third eye open. It's that third eye knowing with the, the air spirit. It um, permeates, it can expand into the greater reaches of consciousness. Um, very expensive, but there's a special offering here for you. And it's along with B Spirit. Now I did check the guidebook just to make sure it was the Ace of Air. And I decided that this was really relevant, what uh, the guidebook says. So this is the guidebook here. The Ace of Air symbolizes a new way of thinking. It suggests that it is now time to let go of old, outdated beliefs and ideas that no longer serve and make way for a new and independently formed personal ideology. It's time to unlearn and let go of ideas and opinions born of societal conditioning, inaccuracies and false assumptions, and replace them with ideas born of self-awareness, fact and genuine knowledge. It's also a time to recognize both for what they are and learn to differentiate between the two. So it's this um, letting go of conditioning. And it was interesting because B Spirit, 
for me, you know, it's the light workers. We're working together. It's the golden elixir of life. However, when, when I went to make a tea, and I've just read the, the Ace of Air, it came to me that there is this shadow aspect of the bee, and that is the hive mind. And so this is the societal conditioning that your um, dragon spirit here, <laughs> this beautiful air dragon, is coming to you with this offering to create your own symbolic pathways. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but it's, it's about no longer being a part of this hive mind. Okay, so this is where you're, um, like we looked at with this card, this next step on your journey is interesting. So it's almost like you can carry on in the darkness of the structures that are fed to us all. You know, we're, we're all um, um, inculcated with certain belief systems about the world, about um, the universe, about life around us and about who we are. And interesting, I'm getting this very strongly for you, pile number one, that this is very much, uh, <laughs> it's totally the blue pill or the red pill, but we won't, we won't go there, but it's, you know, it's choosing to awaken and follow an awakened path, willing to see the truth about yourself and about your journey in this world and the world around you for what it truly is, for how it truly um, is presented, or to carry on in a certain sleep state where the path is almost set, which is interesting that's coming up with like the bees, all um, the hive mind, they're all you know, we're all going to work in the morning and we're doing the job and then we're paying our bills and then we're worrying about whether, you know, we can afford to fix the car. You know, it's it's the structure that is created, a dark structure or this pathway around us that limits our um, time and our freedom and our capacity to really see the truth, to really see a way forward in freedom and resonance with the world around us. And then we come back to the light aspect of the bee, being in resonance. The bee is fertilizing, you know, all of the our food, you know, the, the bee is resonating, it's vibing, literally, it's buzzing with energy, it creates the elixir of life, um, the honey, the gold, you know, so it's, it's this, it's the, um, this is your turning point, power number one, this is what's just around the corner, which path will you take, <clears throat> which path will you um, choose, it's choice, here. There is a very um, special pathway being offered to you by this air dragon spirit. And I'm getting very, um, you know, star family energy here with this air dragon. Star family offering you something. Offering you a new way of being where you get to write your own script. You get to create your own pathways. This is a divine, a divinely timed moment for you. Look at the stars in this dragon's eyes. This is the offering to you, to choose the light aspect of the, of the bee spirit, the... Um, the raising of the vibration of the planet and yourself, because that is how, you know, when you're raising your vibration, you're raising, you're affecting, you know, everyone around you and you're affecting the energy of the whole planet. So perhaps this is a bit of a wake up call in terms of you may already be awake and aware, but 
perhaps you've not managed to find the physical pathway forward that fully vibes with you, that fully resonates and allows you to be this, this air dragon spirit, this all-knowing, this um, spirit that can feel the vibrations around them. Let's get some more cards. Hmm. We'll just get some symbols. Uh, Faye, <laughs> thank you for being here today. This is already so magical. So magical. And we have this dragonfly here flying off down the light path. Interesting because the dragonfly is pile number three. Oh, we have our fish balanced. Can we please have some symbols, um, Faye? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh my gosh. This is actually um, one of my favorite earrings, but I really love having it as one of our symbols that we use because this topaz, this rainbow topaz is just bursting forth. And this is my symbol of like an extremely significant event. An extremely significant event. This is going to be the moment. You may already be intuiting it. You may already be sensing it. You are the air dragon after all. You are the bee spirit. You can probably sense it coming. And here we have the spiral path. It's almost like the staff. It's almost blocking the way of, of the, the, the darker path. And by darker, I just mean more um, unawake. You know, more trapped in the system within which we have been born. So this is no shade on anyone. We're all born into a thicket of a system that's already in place and wants to remain in place. And so it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of courage, and it takes a certain hopefulness with our dragonfly here to really... Um, choose yourself, to choose to go with the flow of your own, wow, your own unique pathway. This is a highly significant crossroads moment in your life that is just around the corner. Whoa, I mean, <laughs> look at that pathway, it's a sacred pathway, sacred pathway, so interesting because I put the deck down um, upside down and you are sacred. Oh my goodness. You have a sacred journey to live. Pile number one. You are safe. It is safe for you to follow the sacred pathway. Oh my goodness. Mm, yes. A new, wow, this is it. This is absolutely it. What is around the corner, just around the corner for you. A new pathway is, here we go, it's all over, it's all over the table, pile number one. A new pathway is about to open up for you. And it's a pathway that will allow you to start to co-create more fully your light-hearted pathway, your light worker pathway, your sacred pathway where you're living your true high vibe, higher self's purpose. There's a new pathway opening up for you. It's being offered to you by the universe, by your spirit team, by your star family. There is a new pathway being offered to you with our dragonfly spirit coming here. Mm, 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 yes. Can we, I'm not sure why we're going for the, all the um, card decks are shuffled beforehand, but it's interesting that um, the Fae are guiding the, the top card. Oh, the Weaver. Beauty, oh. So beautiful. This is your moment. Your moment to 
<laughs> sing your own tune, to weave your own sacred with the spider, sacred pathway forward. The opportunity is now. Um, spiritual energies are around you and guiding you. They're guiding you at this time. They're guiding you. You are safe. It is safe for you to follow the music in your heart. It is safe for you to step forward with innocence and hope on this new journey. This new journey is being offered to you. It's been, <laughs> look at this, I mean it has been created for you. Look at all this divine intervention over here coming into the web. You've been creating and your spirit team has been co-creating with you for this, this opportunity and you will know it 100% when you come across it. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It will just be so clear to you. It's not going to be a mystery. You'll, you'll realize 100%. Where are we? Ooh, okay. Wow. Yeah, it'll shine so bright. It'll shine so bright. Oh my gosh. I feel... Yes, this one. Oh my gosh, of course. <laughs> I knew the crossroads was going to come up. Of course. Of course. I kind of expected that one there. Right. Are we doing these two? Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, new journey. I mean, the cards are just... And the key. Interesting that that's ending up falling there. The key. The key to your new future is arriving. The ship is coming in, but the ship is also departing. This is the crossroads. The opportunity will shine like the sun, power number one, like the sun. You, you will not miss it, okay? You will not miss it. It will be so significant. We have these two shining bright, shining forth. Your heart will light up and your mind is what's coming through. Like, it'll really light your fire, you know? It'll light your interest, your intrigue. It's something going out into the world with our garden here and the ship. The ship is setting off on a journey. You're at the crossroads. The crossroads is coming or you're at the crossroads now. Pick up that key and take it, is the message like without a doubt, pick up the key and take it and go out into the world to shine your light bright. Take the sunny path, the path that lights you up and that has this kind of magical effect of you can actually feel in your like heart chakra and your higher heart on the uh, between your heart chakra and hmm actually your uh, throat chakra is coming in too very strongly here it's like it's almost like you want to sing your song and this is the opportunity to do it you want to live your sacred aligned life your um light be spirit life that bringing the light, being the light worker that you are, and being able to express it in the world. Being able to express it, follow the song in your heart. It's, it will alight something in you. You will sense it. And it's this new pathway. Wow, this is so beautiful, pile number one. There is, with no doubt... All of these cards are singing the same song. You will receive that knock on the door, that mess that opportunity to pick up the key and go forth into a whole new chapter of your life that is true to you and your sacred pathway, that is true to the light with which you um, beam out. It's your true pathway that is being offered to you. Take it. You will know it when you come across it. You will know. There will be no doubt. It will light you up.
and it's it's your pathway forward and it's coming this is what is just around the corner for you pile number one a beautiful, high-vibing, new opportunity to go on a new journey, a new pathway that allows you to shine bright and be the light worker that you are in the world with the garden, expressed in the world. This is so beautiful. I wish you all the very best on this beautiful, high-vibing, new pathway forward that is coming to you. The Fae have spoken so clearly here. It is coming just around the corner. And all the best on that beautiful, beautiful journey, pile number one. I am so happy for you. This is beautiful energy, and I appreciate having you here so very much. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I'd love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number two. You have chosen the Sinner Shell. And I had a little read of the guidebook for this one. Um, and it talks about someone who is in service. So there seems to be a very interesting, so many symbols in this card. A calling, you know, we're looking at our, the card on the bottom of the deck was our journey. This sort of crossroads point in your life that there's a chance to take um, some kind of new path. We're asking what's just around the corner. I get strong Hierophant vibes from this with our keys, with this kind of um, knowing, not necessarily seeing, you know, in the 3D, we see with our eyes. However, in reality, in uh, spiritual energy, truth, we're seeing with our third eye. We've got coins dangling here and acorns, which are all symbols of abundance and opportunity. We have the keys, we have the acorns again, and then we have dog spirit, loyalty, companion. We have two ants. Ants work together. Hmm. The third eye is very prominent here. So interesting. It's so multifaceted, the energy, because also our feather, this is all the chakras. This is all the chakras being in alignment. And we have this, hmm, so, oh, okay. Oh my goodness. I feel like we've got a path <clears throat> just around the corner of like some real, um, integrated you <laughs> And what I mean is that when everything's kind of vibing at um, at a high level, all the chakras, so we have our, our base chakras with our coins and our acorns, you know, our need for security, our need for growth, our need for opportunity. We have our third eye chakra, the all-seeing eye. We have the keys of opportunity, but also the keys of higher knowledge, higher learning with our crown chakra. Dog spirit, the heart chakra, also the sacral chakra. So that's our feelings of um, safety, our feelings of love, of loyalty, of partnership. And we have this kind of, I would say, root chakra with the ants, which is that very, very down on the ground, very grounded, working away. We've got the ivy. Um, it's almost like what is just around the corner? Wow. For you, pile number two, is every sort of aspect of your life that's important to you coming into alignment. Oh my goodness. Yeah. 
I mean, you're you're on a spiritual wing. You know, you are, oh my gosh, we've got the feather and the wing. Like you are flying. You are flying. Pile number two. Wow. We have our two flying spirits here, the dragonfly and the transformative butterfly. Yeah. You have been with our sword here on the third eye, my goodness. You have been aligning, ever more and more aligning with your true self, your higher self's purpose, and with um, yeah, with your own energy makeup. You've been healing and working with all of your different chakras. And everything now within your life, and I'm seeing very much this on the 3D. Your 3D reality is about to reflect all of this inner alignment work that you have been doing, pile number two. You have been following your own divine guidance, your higher self, all oh, the world. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Do we want some more of these? Justice. Oh, karmic debts have been paid. Interesting. Oh, my gosh. The sun. <laughs> I mean, I just, these readings, they're amazing. I mean, three major arcana. No wonder the Fae came through and and really wanted me to do these readings for you because the energies are aligning on these very like pivotal, pivotal points. This is a pivotal queen of pentacles. I mean, oh. okay, one on the bottom. Oh my gosh, one on the bottom and then one on the top. Healing. Yeah. You've done the healing. Oh, this is, this is cool. <laughs> Pile number two. Oh my gosh, you've done the healing. You've healed your heart. You've healed your root chakra. You've, you know, you've opened your third eye. You're, you're awakening your crown chakra. All, all of this healing that you have embarked upon on your journey up until now, again the spiral path journey that you've been on has brought you to this moment I mean check it out the karmic debts have been paid what you came here to heal pile number two has been healed the world is also the closing the ending of a chapter the karmic debts have been paid you've healed what you needed to heal and now it's time <laughs> to let the sun shine, go forth and be prosperous with our Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. This is living your dream. Ten of Cups is living your dream that you envision for yourself. And look at how excited our sun child is. So excited. And of course, you've, you've been to battle. You've done the work. You've healed, you have healed, you've been through hardships and now it's time to live the, the world of your dreams, to create the world of your dreams. Everything is aligning for you to experience the happiness that you seek, the community that you seek. The abundance that you seek, the um, self-sustainability that you seek, the independence and the connections. Because we've got heart healing over here. Get one more. Yeah, you've been through it. Getting one more. Yeah, and you've done the work, three of pentacles. You've done the work. You've been through it. This is the past over here. This is the past. Don't forget. Oh. 
I went to pick up the Wild Unknown and it's split. Yeah, we've got strength. Absolutely, you, wow. You've been strong and compassionate. And then we've got that Five of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. You've been through it. You've done the healing. You are, it's interesting that life of service aspect. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, so interesting because, you know, that um, kind of tends towards more this past. That the um, work that you needed to do, the karmic clearing that you needed to complete, you've done. And now you can live a life in service to your higher self. In service to what truly aligns with you. There's no more of this. Happiness awaits you. Joy independence, abundance, all, all on the earthly plane, on the 3D, all of these beautiful energies of loyalty, of strength, of compassion, of love, of family, soul family, friendships, joy in your heart, and absolutely physical abundance, material abundance, is all opening up for you. Because you worked with this. You worked with it. You didn't let it um, pin you down, pile number two. You worked with the energies as they arose. And this is what has cleared the karma. You've worked with it and you've grown from it. With innocence still in your heart with our son and the Ten of Cups, and this lion, our strength, holding the rose, still willing, still willing to walk towards the light and create light in your life. It hasn't hampered you, but it has been hard. But you've worked with the energies. You've cleared your karma. It's done. And now... What is just around the corner for you, pile number two, is abundance of these beautiful, high-vibing chakra energies in your physical reality. In your physical reality. Yeah. Yeah, you may be in a period of waiting, and we've got the four of cups on the bottom. So maybe it doesn't look like it, you know? <laughs> Possibly it's not quite looking so rosy just yet. But this is, um, yeah, with the Two of Swords again, not being able to see all of this that is manifesting for you just around the corner. You are manifesting this because you have raised your vibration. You've raised your frequency. And so all of these good things are coming in just around the corner. Just around the corner. So have a little faith is what I get here. Just have a little faith. This is the past. Have a little faith. You know, the faith of a mustard seed, resurrection, yeah, it's all going to change. Resurrection, I mean, what's on the bottom? Let magic in. Gorgeous, here. Yeah, we're definitely putting this here. I mean, the Four of Swords and the Four of Cups. Um, normally, the Four of Swords can be very much a, about a time of healing. But our Four of Swords here is a bit worried, like, oh God, you know, oh, and we've got it linked with our Four of Cups, which is despondency, it's disappointment, she's over it, it says. 
you know. And fair enough, you've, you've been through it. You have been clearing karmic debts like a badass, you know. You've been through it and you're over it, of course you are, because it's hard work. It's hard, healing is hard work. It takes effort, it takes consistent compassion for your own humanity and other people's humanity. You know, of course you're exhausted. Of course you are. But you are strong. And you have the innocence still within you. You have the hopeful innocence. And the loyalty to yourself and the willingness to work for what you want. Vervain, let magic in, pile number two. Their magic is coming in, you know. Let the magic in. In this time of um, yeah, perhaps rest, being a bit over it, um, wondering when your ships are going to come in, uh, because you've been doing all this amazing um, healing work. The magic is coming in, is, is what? Your whole life. This resurrection energy, resurrection, is potent. Potent energy. Yeah. It's like your true, strong, innocent, playful, creative, loving self is, is going to be resurrected on the 3D is the message that's coming through very strongly from the Fae. This, is, this isn't energy, this is coming in in your physical reality. These magical pathways are coming in. This magical abundance, joy, love, um, you know, that's all coming in. Everything that all the chakras represent, you know, that we talked about at the start. That is all opening up for you, just around the corner, pile number two. Your true self is being resurrected from the sense of um, being over it, the despondency, the being, having been through tough times. But the key here, and what the Fae really want to highlight is that you've done the work. You've done the work and you've been clearing karma like a badass so that you can be free to create this abundant, joyous, magical, free, with our feather and our wing, free life ahead of you that is loyal to you that's loyal to what you want to experience in the world. That's the pathway that is opening up for you, just around the corner, pile number two. Thank you so very much for being here with me today. And thank you to the Fae for giving such clear, potent messages today. If this reading has resonated with you, pile number two, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number three. And welcome to your reading. Um, that's very um, bright energy, um, clearly. We're asking, what's just around the corner? And this is a divine message from the Fae. They've asked me to... Um, channel a message for you from them and you have chosen king of fire i mean this is high vibing this is divine masculine energy that high vibing masculine that's creative and caring and bold and courageous and confident this is epic, <laughs> like this energy is epic. And I looked in the guidebook, which I never normally do. I'm an intuitive reader. 
Um, but we'll just have a little read. The King of Fire is a charismatic leader. He is passionate, and his passion is something others find inspiring because it is focused, grounded, and creative. He is the perfect team leader. He can draw to him the people who are necessary for a project to be completed, and every single person will want to play a part to help bring his vision to life. Some may see the king of fire as an ideas man, but they only have to observe and they will soon discover that he is very proactive. He likes to be involved, to get his hands dirty, and he will remain involved from inception to completion. And, I mean, clearly you're being called to step up as a leader. And what we have here is Dragonfly Spirit. And what's interesting about these two is really just what I just said. But I was going to reference um, a reading by Moon Magic. And she told this story about the dragonfly, how it was tricked in, in an indigenous story. I'm not sure which, and I'm sorry about that right now. Um, but the dragonfly was tricked um, in some way by a trickster spirit, obviously. And um, dragonfly accidentally lost their power. They became disempowered because they were really a dragon. They were a dragon, dragon energy to begin with. Some sort of trickery took place and they were disempowered. And then their, um, this little dragonfly, when really when really they are this empowered, divine, masculine energy, this dragon energy, really bright, very much the leader. All of these um, sayings are coming through, like I got Bob Marley, but instead of lively up yourself, it was lion up yourself, lion up yourself. Power number three, and the whole be the change that you want to see in the world. This is a really strong calling coming through very palpably for you to step up, power number three, and lead. Lead by example is what's coming through. Lead by example. This is, and this is where we bring in our card. I've brought it in to every reading. The journey. This is the point in your life. Oh, we've got dragonfly here. Follow. Um, <laughs> follow the dragon pathway. The dragonfly. The dragonfly can become the dragon again through self empowerment, through grabbing hold of that lion energy, that dragon energy, that lion up yourself. Lion up yourself. Power number three, no more hiding in the shadows, knowing full well your potential, who, what you have potential to be. You are a leader. That's all there is to it. <laughs> number three, you are a leader. And as soon as you start um, flying down that pathway of actively, proactively, empowering yourself, your dragonfly spirit will become the dragon once again. You will become the dragon once again. The dragon that you came here to be, king of cups. I mean, this is divine masculine energy. Divine masculine. Oh, and the empress. I mean... Interesting because I totally got emperor vibes from this. Okay, we're we getting that one here. Yeah, tower. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Yes. I 
it's interesting because it's like on the 3D there's been some real genuine struggle. 3D that is transforming as we speak with our butterflies here, but it changed your world, it rocked your world in some um, difficult way. And it its purpose in terms, okay, in terms of energies that are not our energies necessarily, but there can be things that come in to try to keep you down, to try to keep your light um, struggling with the 3D world. This is what this is over here. And yet this is you. I mean, this is divine masculine power. Divine masculine that is in touch with their heart chakra, in touch with the energy around them with our dragonfly spirit. Can sense what's going on around them and they're in touch with their divine feminine. You have two pillars of divine masculine and divine feminine here. Whatever this was, its purpose was to try to keep you down. That's what it was. It wasn't you. You didn't bring it upon yourself. You're vibing. You are aligning with your true life's journey. And that's why whatever this is came to pass. That's why. To try to dim this light. Look at it. You are the dragon in a dragonfly body, you know? No, no shade on dragonflies. This is just the story that we're going with, the mythology. Lion up yourself. You got it. You've got the good vibes. You've got the good feelings. You've got the good intentions. This is not authoritarian masculine energy. This is divine masculine, divine feminine uniting. And that's the power. That's how we've got this palpable sun like beaming out. This is who you are here. Who you are. And what has taken place or what is you're currently in with this headache here is um, interference. Because... When you're vibing this high and when you're stepping into your role, pile number three, as a leader, as a spiritual leader within your community and potentially in the world, you know, this could be online, you could have a huge reach, pile number three. You are magnetic. People are drawn to you. They want to be a part of this vision of this creative, loving, kind, connected vision that you have. And you're lioning up yourself. You're like transforming from the dragonfly into dragon energy. And this is coming in to try to put you back. It's that trickster, here we go, this is why I felt called to share that story. It's the trickster energy here, 100%. The trickster's energy is there to try to fool you into putting your cloak back on and hiding back here in the darkness, in the thicket of, you know, the man-made machine on the 3D, um, with just this little um, golden spiral of hope and light. When your dragonfly spirit is meant to keep flying, keep growing down a new pathway, a leadership pathway, a, you know, no more hiding pathway. No more letting this energy, whose purpose is to dim your light, hold you down. I mean, look at this. And this is the calling. What is just around the corner? The Fae. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've got 
the magician on the back and the devil height lurking lurking below you know that's the thing there's bigger energies at play in life than than our energies is is what i'm gonna say that's what i'm gonna say this is interesting because the queen of swords did pop out when i was getting your card your tarot cards ready mm. yeah being able to see very clearly yeah yeah it's this dichotomy and this is actually interesting because you know i've been with this card for all of the readings but there's very much this dichotomy coming through here high vibing ah really hard really hard stuff going on that you've got to try to deal with high vibing Oh, all of these negative thought patterns coming in um, to rule the roost is what has come in. That's so interesting. And then we have our magician with the devil underneath. Yeah, there's this, um, okay, there's this big, wow, okay, so this is spiritual warfare of the self it's like this is who you are you've recognized it within yourself you want to lion up yourself and become the queen you know the empress the emperor the king of cups the king of fire you know you're feeling the calling in your heart you're feeling the calling hard to rise up and fully reveal your power, your light worker power in the world, to affect the world in these really beautiful, high vibing, resonant ways. And you've got it all within you, but there's this kind of spiritual warfare going on where these negative thoughts creep in and lay their eggs and try to create a nest within you with this devil here and then if that's not working something will come in from the outside from the 3d you know you get a whatever you know like you have you've leased a building you're starting your spiritual business or your community hub or whatever and then you get noticed that you have to leave you know and it's a headache okay this is yeah so there is, yeah, no um, need to be afraid. This is your divine message from the Fae, that there's spiritual warfare at play around you, affecting you, because darker energies want to keep your light in the dark. You, you're not deserving of this. You're not creating this. You're vibing. You are high vibing and you are transforming into your lioned up self, into the dragon. And you can actually see all of this. And I think that this is the key here and why the Queen of Swords came, wanted to come up when I was um, getting the cards ready and I sort of questioned whether... Um, it was for you, and obviously it was. Because, yeah, this is the message, okay. <laughs> this is it, plain and clear, and this is your um, divine message from the Fae. To see this, um, these energies at play around you, not of you, around you, hmm, to see them clearly for what they are. And this will empower you to have a certain non-affectedness, unaffected, which is really hard, uh, pile number three. No one is saying that that is easy because when uh, really difficult situations arise that put a spanner in the works or... Um, your own mind starts to work against you. You know, it's not easy to remain unaffected. But we've got our two queens here who are very, um, 
Yeah, <laughs> and the Empress, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay, here we go. Also with our um, masculine and feminine energies. You've got <clears throat> this masculine, high vibing, beaming out into the world energy. And then the message is also to um, this divine feminine energy. She is protecting her energy in all of these cards. From the worries, from the fears, and from the outside circumstances that are not in her control. That are other things getting in the way. So it's this, um, yeah, very much this come home to yourself. When <clears throat> life is troubling, come home to your inner divine feminine, where you are safe, where you are high vibing on the inside, and the sense of aiming to be unaffected, because here we've got you know, the being affected by all of these negative energies that are going on around you and all, also the sneaky thoughts that pop up in your head about you're not good enough or you don't have what it takes or this will never work for you or, you know, whatever they are. Yeah. It's a very... um gentle understanding advice. It's understanding, um, you know, our human situation. It's not easy to do this, but you've got three cards representing the same thing and the King of Cups. This is, you know, he's here too, that divine masculine is here too, that, you know, in tune with everything, but centered, that's the word centered and I think key here is being able to see these events or these thoughts or these people for what they really are yes once you yeah I think this is the thing once you can see the game that is being played that um, spiritual warfare energy of trying to um, dim your light <clears throat> while you are trying to lion up yourself and really take hold of this beautiful solar power divine masculine energy and this beautiful divine feminine energy and become the leader that you are born to be. Power number three. You are born to be this leader in the world, in your world. So, yeah, the advice is to start to see these events or these people or these, you know, this trickery energy with our dragonfly, our dragon being tricked into thinking that they're a dragonfly when really they're the dragon, when really they're immense, immensely powerful. Yeah, there's very much a grounding energy with our um, Mother Earth Gaia spirit here. Grounding with the Queen of Pentacles. Coming within, connecting with your own heart space, your own heart's intuition. That clear knowing with our um, watery crown here. That divine knowing, that intuition. And we've got our warrior spirit here. We have a warrior here. Like I see, I see the game that is being played around me. I see that it's not me and I see that it's simply playing out the trickster energy to try to fool me into going into being a dragonfly rather than the dragon, the lion that I am meant to be. You're immensely powerful with the magician here. You're immensely powerful and in tune. And this is what these um, darker, denser energies, that's what they're trying to limit. 
Because here, when everyone's just, you know, trapped in the system, and they know that they have this beautiful light and this beautiful purpose, but they're trapped in the thickets of the man-made structures and systems, everyone kind of isn't, um, you know, a threat to the status quo. Whereas once ascension is taking place, once someone is lioning up themselves, those energies come in to try to pull you back, to try to um, dismantle the good work that you're doing, to hold you down, to needle in with those uh, intrusive thoughts. That trickster energy is coming in, but it's not of you. And it doesn't need to affect the purity of your purpose. And this is where this is. And this is why you're getting very particular guidance. We've got the eyes closed. We've got the centering, the grounding, the protecting your own energy. Protecting the light that you are cultivating. And seeing those um, events or situations or people's behaviors for what they really are. They're there to try to trick you back into dragonfly energy when you are lining up yourself to become the dragon, the powerful, powerful, compassionate, divine feminine, divine masculine mix of energy that is a leader that will lead others, that will show others the way. Wow, powerful. Powerful. Wow. <laughs> the energy of your leadership, pile number three, is just beautiful. It's really palpable. It's really palpable. So this was your divine message from the Fae, to keep going, to keep expanding, and know that you are the leader. You are a spiritual leader. You are being the change that you want to see in the world. Keep going, and when these situations occur, protect your energy Protect your divine space. You'll intuit a way forward and you'll be able to see that game that's going on around you for what it really is. This was your message from the Fae about what is just around the corner for you. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Power number three. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.